Hi, Tim from Kingdom Sewing Center in Simi Valley. We're going to give you some infomercials. If you can't make it into the store all the time, we're here to give you a little demonstration on some sewing machines. The first one we're going to talk about uh, in this video is the Janome M7, they call it the Continental. Uh, and one of the huge features is the arm space. If you notice, we have our local pig in the store that floats around from machine to machine. So just to give you an idea, we'll get this huge pig out of the way. 13 inches left to right. If you were to look at that with a ruler, 13 inches, but also five and a half inches up. So most sewing machines are eight, nine, or 10 inches, not as tall. So if you look at the square area of this, of actually getting in a quilt, we're more than double the square area of any other sewing machine out there. So huge number right there. Uh, we're gonna kind of start over here on the right side. We have a built-in antenna. That way you could use your larger cone thread. If you want to use regular thread, yes, you can, uh, but it has the capability. And why we say the antenna is so good, if you the, see the thread, it will flow consistently. The, that means we're gonna have a better quality stitch with even threading flow there. Uh, over here, you can see an adjustment for our width control and our length control. Yes, we still have a digital readout, but when we're sewing, we just wanna reach over there and slowly adjust it up or down on the stitch length or width I have that capability easy 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 so we have the digital set up there but if you're in the middle of sewing you can quickly uh, touch those numbers there notice that the screen is in the middle of the machine not to the far right this is such a big machine you generally are centered in front of the needle so I don't want to look all the way over there to see a stitch length. I have it right in front of me here while I'm sewing there. Great feature there. Uh, this machine has the automatic foot that goes down and up. Uh, we also have a knee lift here. So a lot of pivoting capability and we don't have to reach around and lifting up the pressure foot all the time, especially like on a blanket applique stitch when we're doing a lot of turning there. You're gonna notice the big green light here. This is a start stop button there. You could use it for sewing. A lot of people use it for free motion sewing. You could set your speed and touch the go and now you have a nice consistent free motion there. Built-in thread cutter. So at the end of the stitch, instead of pulling all the threads out and cutting them with the scissors and all the tails everywhere, I have a built-in thread cutter. Huge feature on the machine there. We're gonna kind of focus in on the needle area here and I'm gonna unthread it here. Uh, this machine, let's lower the presser foot here. This machine has a needle threader and yes, you've heard of that before. Uh, a lot of machines but this is what they define as a one-handed needle threader very simple when I don't have to have my hands all around the little hook that threads the needle that bends real easy uh, if I can keep my hand away from it extremely reliable we just threaded the machine the needle that easy huge feature there when we're stitching in the ditch when we are using our quarter inch foot which we'll talk about here in just a sec uh, when we want that precision or we're going blind, we have, this is an option, but a huge option, is a magnifier. So however you're sitting, you could adjust the angle here, um, and you can now look down and magnify that so more precision. Uh, you always wanna know why somebody else had better precision than you, this is how you do it right here. This is a magnification two, they actually make a magnification four and a six there. It retracts out of the way when I don't need it, when I need it, just swings back in there. You could actually take it off as well there. We're gonna talk about this quarter inch foot. Um, compared to most quarter inch feet, it looks actually huge, but the huge advantage with this is that it will cover all the feed dogs. On the past machines, and a lot of presents ones, they had to shave off the right side of the foot to get the quarter inch, so you just plug in the uh, foot onto the machine and you, the needle was in the center, you had a quarter inch because they shaved off the right side. But you lost that right feed dog so it did not feed straight. So that is a huge advantage with this nice quarter inch foot. Uh, you have the guide there, we call it quarter inch sewing for dummies, but basically you're just putting the edge of your strips against that edge and you'll get a perfect quarter inch. I have the capability of adjusting that needle in a little bit so if I want that scant quarter inch the way you want it, not the way the machine wants it there, you can get that perfect scant quarter inch there. 
Speaking of quarter inch scants, um, quarter inches stabilizing the fabric for that precision sewing there. Uh, what you're going to see here is, I'm trying to um, point to it here, you have a, actually a right hole in the needle plate, a center and a left. And the right side is slightly oval. That oval gives you the capability of adjusting for your quarter inch, not the way you feel that the machine is set up there. Some people like it a little bit to the right of the stitch, center of the stitch, the left of the stitch, or the scant. You have the capability of adjusting that. This needle plate actually has a little micro switch on it, so when I put the straight stitch needle plate on, the machine knows that we have the straight stitch plate on. You cannot damage a needle plate by the needle swinging with the wrong stitch right there. Uh, we're going to talk about feeding our, for quilting, feeding the strips through, feeding the quilt through with the batting on there. We've all bought an add-on walking foot to our sewing machines that puts a little bit more pressure on the top of the fabric there. Um, but what you're going to see with this one right here is you're going to see these teeth actually coming down. This is linked in the back and it's actually just like the feed teeth underneath. If you set the stitch length to 2 or 2.2 or 2.5 and the feed teeth are grabbing and advancing the fabric at let's say 2.5, when this is linked up these feed teeth right here are grabbing and pulling the fabric from the front to the back on the top as well as the bottom. So to kind of visualize that we're truly grabbing top and bottom and pulling from front to back. Grabbing and pulling top and back there. Sometimes you're going to be sewing on a binding or something narrow. So compared to the regular AccuFeed walking foot, you're going to see a narrow walking foot for sewing on your binding there. Another great feature on the M7 there. Um, decorative stitches on this machine. This machine, uh, most machines have a 7 millimeter or 6 millimeter wide. This is 9 millimeters wide. So why why the big number there? Who cares? Well, you should care because you're going to get a wide decorative stitch there. So some of those beautiful serpentine stitches, some of those beautiful satin stitches, even the letters will look large there. So now you can name or date a quilt, put some decorative stitching along an edge of a baby blanket. Uh, the, the blanket stitch is adjustable, um, so it's it's truly the best out there for adjusting. You could do a mirror image left or right. Um, that's about it of the uh, Continental M7. So if you're interested in uh, the machine, give us a call, come in. We do take trade-ins. Oh, we'll be happy to sit down with you and um, you could actually sit down yourself and sew on it when you want to come in and take a look at it or give us a call at Tim uh, or Gina at Kingdom Sewing Center in Simi Valley.